Higher, higher, acknowledge. Oh no, uh, time has stopped. Alright, we're flying. We are government flying service, um, short form GFS. We provide a different type of uh, uh, flying support such as uh, search and rescue down to South China Sea in the typhoons or firefighting in the mountains. We started flying the H-175 helicopter in 2018. For a complex helicopter like the H-175, there are more than 100 types of uh, system malfunctions that can happen. Not all of those can be practiced in the aircraft. So in the simulator, everything is presented as if it is real, so we can practice however we want. And the time is changing to uh, night time. You can see it's a puff of smoke which is uh, emitted by the survivor. As a helicopter, we can go basically everywhere so uh, to really help people get out of the troubles. I think that's one of the very important aspirations to become a uh, search and rescue pilot. So you can see there's a fishing boat next to it. Of course, we can simulate a different sea stage, get the weather worse, and then I can also put in some wind to make it look like a typhoon. So you can have a bit of turbulence. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's quite windy. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to be the pilot here. We used to send pilots out for training and then they come back. Of course, that engaged several pilots for a week or so. But now the simulator is just right next in our doorstep so we can send people uh, as much as we want. We do some trainings in the aircraft, but uh, depending on the weather, depending on how busy the airport is, we may not get what we want. If we use a simulator or things that we have programmed, we can almost guarantee that we can execute it without delay. I'm under pressure now. Stand by forming. Forming water. Watch out. Okay, go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. This uh, cockpit, it is a one to one replica of the real thing. The equipment are actually real aircraft parts. For example, this, this seats, the seats that we have, the controls that they're holding. The screens that you can see in front, they are actual aircraft parts. Mm -hmm. Theoretically, you can pull out something from aircraft and put it here and then it will work. Of course, it's always a challenge in the simulator. Fire, fire. S smoke coming out from the helicopter. Some of the system malfunctions, such as engine failures, handling that we do all the time, they actually stress the aircraft's components, like the water blades, the main gearbox or the landing gears. The more we use it on the aircraft, the more we wear off those uh, components. It is three three mayday cockpit. So this is something that you can only do in the simulator. Yeah. When I first qualified to become a uh, GFS pilot, there was COVID. We couldn't go to the overseas training. So we received most of the uh, basic training on the real aircraft as well. So that would be a little bit different from the ordinary training, but however, uh, as soon as the, uh, had a, the simulator is ready, we jump into the simulator and practice all those emergencies as well. Uh, I think the simulator generates uh, very realistic emergencies, help us to understand the aircraft more, as well as to uh, practice our mentality. We are trained to work with other people, other pilots in the cockpit. Because on the real aircraft, if we have a real emergency, then everyone will be very, very heavily loaded, and it could be very difficult to learn in that environment. Okay, let's prepare for, some, for a bumpy landing. Feel there. Yeah, yeah. Just down. for the pilots, how, how stressful was that? <laughs> you can see from our face that you don't know if the fire is out or not. Mm. So the uh, only options I'm afraid to have is to absolutely make sure that the fire is out, otherwise we'll be down. As a trainer, I can sit in the iOS operator seats and then to operate the simulator and put in two pilots at the front to operate. As a role training, for example, like from day to day operations, landing site, etc., I can sit at the front and use the remote console, the iPad, to control the simulator at the same time as well. I've been with GFS for 12 years with this aircraft for like five years already, and then, uh, but we're still learning some new characters of the aircraft, especially after we have the simulator. Uh, so even though we, we work here for 20 years, some of our senior work here for 30 years and they still stay very humbled and then to, they try to explore the aircraft to learn to polish their skills and I think that is really inspiring me and then to try to upkeep uh, our skills as well.